What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hammerstein and today I want to talk about this phone over here which is in my hand and it is the Zenfone 8 Flip. So I've actually been using this as my daily driver for the past few weeks and i got a lot to talk about this phone. And yes, there's some things that are good, some things which I think they could improve in their future phones. Now of course today I'll share with you my personal experience and review of this phone. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start off over here by saying that I am basing this off after using the Zenfone 4 after 7 long years. The last Zenfone phone that I actually used was the Zenfone 4 back in 2014 and that phone was just a complete mess. It had a lot of bloatware, a lot of issues with it and yes, I understand back in 2014 a lot of other phone companies had the similar kind of situations, a lot of the same problems as well and that phone was using the Zen UI as well and that kind of made me stay away from the ASUS phone because I already found out that they're still using the Zen UI and I didn't want to go through that whole experience as well. But of course here with the Airflow, I kind of gave myself a second chance and to be honest I can say that I'm super impressed with what ASUS has done over the last seven years they have really made a lot of good improvements over here and it shows with the Zenfone 8 flip so today I'm going to go through some key areas over here some key features as well and of course I'm going to talk about this phone so yes the first thing I'll talk about here is the build and design of this phone and you can see over here it does have a very very nice solid build over on the front over here as you can see here you do have a Gorilla Glass 6 on the front but over on the back here it's only a gorilla glass tree so yes if you do kind of drop this the back over here will kind of shatter quite a lot of course with the front it will shatter it but it does have some certain resistance to it and overall in terms of just using this phone for the past few weeks using this phone actually is all right it is pretty heavy i would say with the 5000 milliamp battery over here and one thing i did notice over here is this phone is really really wide over here as you can see most phones nowadays will go taller in the expect but this one does go a bit wider but I'm surprised that they did not kind of reduce the bezels on the sides over here so as you can see just holding this phone for a small handed user for most people I think they're going to struggle with this and of course if you do slap a case on this you're going to notice that it is quite troublesome to hold this phone and this phone case like I mentioned does come for free if you kind of did pre-order this and if you kind of slap it on the back over here yes it does give you a lot of protection but it is a very very wide case over here so yes handling this phone has been all right but i gotta say they could have just kind of reduced the width of this phone and make it more kind of a uh, palm friendly for most people next thing i want to talk about over here is the user experience of this phone and i feel that this one kind of encapsulates the internal hardware the internal specs your speakers your display and of course your software side of things as well so using this phone here with the snapdragon 888 with 8 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage has been a breeze going through your social media scrolling through your facebook your instagram watching content switching between your apps going through your certain stuff over there it's been really really good and of course here you have your google discover all these other good stuff so yes using this phone has been really good now of course if you couple that with the AMOLED display here with the 90 hertz refresh rate it feels very buttery smooth using this phone and of course this is something you would expect using a flagship phone here in 2021 and it kind of takes out all the boxes over here so yes using this phone in general has been really good yes you don't get your 120 hertz refresh rate as with your other S21 Ultras the Mi 11 Ultras and all these other good stuff but it is still a very very good display Display. One thing I gotta highlight over here is the screen resolution on this has been really amazing. Watching content over here has been really good. I'm gonna show you some photos over here and I'm gonna say it looks and feels actually like a very premium kind of display over here. Yes, this one you don't get a higher end refresh rate and all this other good stuff. But as you can see here, it kind of gives you a very, very good details, contrasty images, very sharp images I would say. So yes, watching content over here like Netflix, YouTube and all this other good stuff has been a really good thing. One thing though that I want to highlight over here are the speakers of this phone. And yes, this one over here does come with your stereo speaker setup. One at the bottom, one at the top. But what I gotta say is that the speakers over here are not the loudest. And most of the time I have to bump it up all the way to maximum volume. And even then, it doesn't give me the satisfying volume that I want and that I kind of get with other phones as well. Even if the Poco F3, I find that the speakers over there were actually louder 
compared to the Asus Zenfone 8 Flip over here. And I wish they, they could kind of improve the speakers over here with their flagship phones. One thing that I really want to talk about is the software side of things over here, the Zen UI. The problem that I had a lot with the Zenfone 4. And over here, what you're going to expect is a very, very, very clean software that comes with this phone. As you can see here, and as I actually highlighted in my first review and of course in a comparison video with the OnePlus 9 Pro, it is so similar to your Oxygen OS. Yes, of course, when people come to talk about stock Android, they talk about the Google Pixels. If they want to talk about the best kind of uh, stock Android experience, they also talk about the Oxygen OS. But over here, I feel with the Zen UI, it does give you the kind of cleanness software you're gonna get right there. You're gonna get the audio stuff over here. And yes, like I mentioned, it's just super clean. What you see is basically what you get. There's not a lot of bloatware. And to be honest, I don't think there's any ASUS kind of apps that come with this phone. As you can see over here, it's just so simple. All these apps are the stuff that I download. There's no ASUS kind of native stuff that comes with this, uh, with this phone over here. And it's very, very clean. As you can see here, it's just so similar to your Oxygen OS in terms of the movements, in terms of the color, in terms of the layout. And even here with the quick panel uh, feature, with the settings feature as well, it does give you a lot of uh, very simple and minimalistic, but it also does give you quite a good amount of features as well. One thing that I really do like here is the Game Genie mode. And I feel that this one here, if you're into a bit more gaming and a bit more live streaming, if you're playing some games, I feel that Game Genie over here is the one of the best gaming mode you're gonna find on any phones right there out there right now it do give you the kind of a uh, real-time life info it gives you your fps counter it kind of give you your temperature of your phone all this useful information which i feel that is really really good especially if you're into a lot of gaming other than that you get your usual stuff like your brightness level and of course in terms of charging as well this one here does allow you to uh, kind of uh, limit the charge of your phone and this is something actually i feel is uh, really good at seeing that nowadays we're going to complain about you know overcharging your phone kind of uh, making sure that your phone doesn't kind of go to the 100 percent mark and over here with the battery care you can click on here you have your steady charging scheduled charging and also a charging limit over here which is really really good i set mine usually at 90 percent so yes after 90 percent your phone won't really go up after than that i don't know whether it will kind of degrade the battery anyway but i kind of feel that this one is a very safe feature in case if you're kind of charging your phone overnight other than that you do get a bit of customization but not something that i would say kind of uh, shouts shouts out about nothing too distinguishable when using the zen ui experience but one thing i got a nitpick over here yes it's very very clean when it comes to software but i feel that it is a little bit too clean when it comes to the software side of things like yes you don't get a lot of customizations like with your mi ui with your oxygen os with your oppo phones as well and i feel that they could actually add a little bit more with their zen ui and of course yes i'm going back and forth over here i did complain about the Zen Fold 4 but yes it's always about the perfect balance when it comes to your Android phones yes it's very clean and I can actually recommend this phone to a lot of people if they're switching on from any other phones and they just want a clean software but of course if you want a bit more customization I feel that this one here is lacking in that area so the next thing here which we want to talk about yes obviously are those flip cameras so over here on the back you have your main lens you have your ultra wide and of course your telephoto lenses of course they do give you a really good set of photos and, and to be honest i gotta say the colors and details and the contrasty and the dynamic range overall has been really good i would kind of categorize this kind of camera setup as a b plus which is a very very good solid camera setup and of course, uh, taking photos over here, I don't really take a lot of photos. And of course, if you compare this to the S21s, I don't think it's at that level yet, but it is still a very good set of cameras. Going back to this phone, as you can see here, you've got a lot of features. You have your time lapse, which would help, especially if you're using the flip camera. And I'm gonna show you how this one works over here. As you can see, it kind of moves up to the front and you can kind of, uh, channel it as much as you want but of course with this kind of mechanical cameras you are a bit worried whether this kind of cameras can last you a long time and one thing that i don't really quite enjoy using the cameras over here is that if you're using a case like over here the rhino shield or maybe the case that they give you right off the box and if you want to use the face unlock and if you have this kind of thing over here toggled up it will kind of block the camera from actually moving forward so if you want to use the face unlock it doesn't work if you go to certain apps like your Instagram. As you can see, it will want to pop out. And if you have this case over here, you kind of block it so it doesn't really work. And you kind of sometimes you maybe have to like just go back 
kind of just push it down and then go back to the Insta story or whatever and the camera will actually work. So yes, this is a bit of a problem, especially if you guys are into a lot of social media, you just want to post a lot of photos. So yes, if you're a bit patient, I feel that the cameras over here for the selfie will serve you the job and it does kind of deliver on that front. So yes, that is it. I think that is all when it comes to my experience and review of the Zenfone 8 Flip. To be honest, using this phone has been really good. I think the Zenfone 8 would be better because it doesn't have that kind of flip camera module. But I gotta say what with uh, ASUS has done with their ASUS lineup with the Zen UI has been really good. And actually it's a phone that I can actually safely recommend to a lot of people seeing that I actually use a lot of the other brands as well. So yes, if you guys find this video helpful and of course did enjoy this, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamstein. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamstein. Stay safe, take care and wash those hands.